Hi there, today in this new video I will explain how to plug and set up the Stream Pack Universal. It's composed of a small capture box, a 720p camera and a cardioid microphone. Then you can do like me and broadcast or record your gameplay on Fortnite, Call of Duty, FIFA 19 and so on. Any game on any console, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. Are you ready? Let's go! In the Stream Pack Universal, there is the Stream Box, 1080p 60fps with two HDMI plugs, one input and one output, and also a USB 3.0 output. The box has a USB cable and also a USB-C adapter. Then, there is a cardioid microphone with its tripod that you will have to screw on it like this and then power it with a USB cable then you can place it wherever you want on your desk in order to capture your voice the last element is a 720p webcam so it's a small camera that you can either place on your desk like this or put it on your screen it moves 360 degrees and it has a small cover in order to protect the lens from the dust. The cam also has four LEDs that you can turn on or off as you wish. Thanks to this remote on the cable. Now I will show you how to plug all the elements. First of all, you'll have to download and install a software named Streamlabs OBS, which is a freeware. There are also other softwares like OBS which is free as well or XSplit that one is not free. I have selected Streamlabs OBS because it is very easy to use and intuitive for the people that learn how to stream or record videos. Let's start with plugging the stream box on the computer. First, take the HDMI cable from your console and plug it in the box in the input. After that, you can plug the box to the computer. A green LED shows that the box is working. Wait for the driver to install automatically before you can use it. As an option, you can plug a HDMI cable on the output of the box and link it to an external screen in order to display the game in full screen. Now, let's install the microphone. For that, easy, you just have to plug the USB cable on the computer. Then the microphone is operational. Just like on the stream box, you have to wait for the driver to install automatically before you can use it. You can see a bright green LED in the microphone. It shows that it's properly working. Last thing to plug, the webcam. For that, like for the box and the microphone, you just need to plug the USB cable to your computer. Wait for the driver automatic installation and then you can use it. Don't forget to move the small cover up to discover the lens. And with the small remote located on the cable, you can add some more light. Let's go now on the freeware Streamlabs OBS. When you launch it, you are asked to sign in your Twitch or YouTube account. I advise you to do it. Otherwise, click on Setup Later. Then you enter a workspace with quite a few parameters and a black screen. Now let's set up the sources that we plugged earlier. Let's start with the stream box. Go to Sources. Then add a new source, video capture device, add source. I rename it. I advise you to do the same as it's easier to organize it later. Then I click on done. My video capture gets displayed and a small properties window appears. I downsize the video capture so you can clearly see what the window that popped up looks like. The properties window is like this. 
There is a thumbnail of the video capture and few other parameters. In the device list, it should be FHD capture selected. If it's not the case, scroll in the list until you see it. If it's not in the list it is maybe because you didn't let the driver install on the computer before using the box. In that case, I advise to switch Streamlabs OBS off, unplug the stream box, plug it again and wait for the driver to install correctly. Then launch Streamlabs OBS again following the steps explained before. At that time, the video capture doesn't have audio output. For that, just go down in the menu, to audio output mode, capture audio only. Tick the box, use custom audio device, and select FHD capture in the list. Click on done. Now the video capture has the audio. If you want to check that the audio rocks properly, go to the mixer, go down and the name of the source is displayed. Beside them cursors are moving, that shows that the audio from the video capture works. Now we set up the second element, the microphone. So add a new source to your scene. Audio input capture, add source. I also rename the source, micro, done. A new properties window pops up. In device, in the scrolling list, I select subsonic USB microphone and I click on done. Once it is done, you can check in the mixer that the microphone is working properly. And here, it's the case as when I speak the cursor moves. And now let's set up the camera. Our last element. Same as before. Sources, add, video capture device again, add a new source. So it shows us that there is already an existing source. That's our FHD capture box. But we need a new source. So let's create a new one that we call webcam. Add a new source. The properties window pops up again. And there, in the device list we select HD 720p webcam. An overview of the webcam is displayed. Now we can click on done. You can adjust the size and move the webcam where you want on the scene. I showed you how to add all the sources in Streamlabs OBS. You just have to play with the software and customize your setup. By the way, in the default software version that you download, you already have all what you need to start recording and streaming. There you go. Now you have everything you need to record or broadcast your top one on Fortnite. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell to receive notifications. Leave us a comment if you have any questions just below the video. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and find all our products on subsonic.com. See you soon for a next video. Bye.